Well, boxing is a microcosm of the whole uh, of, of life, basically. It's, uh, you got everything in boxing. Uh, yeah, sometimes it could be easy, sometimes it could be hard. Boxing, I use it as a like, it's kind of like therapy in a way. I get to release all, all my anger, all the all stress I had during the day, day, all the anxiety. So I use it as an escape goal for like all my daily stuff. Boxing is, you know, I used to have an attitude problem. I used to be an odd head. But man, you know, the discipline that I got in here, I had to be humble with myself. Everybody knows I'm a little caring. Everybody knows like, I'm always checking up on them. Cause I know how it is, you know, being alone. You know, boxing is a lonely sport. You're not gonna have a team behind your back. You're doing all the training, you're doing all the discipline, you're doing all the fights. So, it's a hard thing to live with, you know? I do this, I use everything that I learned in the gym, outside this world, so I can help me motivate more people just to come in the gym. It's not just a sport, it's, it's a lifestyle, man. I was trying to pull it all like the gangs around my area, you know, there's two gangs that are always going at it, and I didn't want to join it to one, even though I was kind of peer pressure to join into the gang. I didn't want to do that. I felt like I didn't want to be dead in the streets, you know, my mom crying, uh, mad. You know, it's just messed up. You know, whole party was in the safe area you know, at the time. I had all my homies going up to reach the game base. My homie got shot. That's when I, I chose just not to be in the streets. I chose to be in the gym one. You know, I killed a lot of my homies. And it hurt me a lot when he got shot three times. I didn't lie. Shit makes you wake up. I tell you, like, man, the street shit ain't, ain't cool no more. You know, this side hustle ain't cool no more. So I just put my focus in here. Basically, keep myself from doing something bad. I just wanted to stay in the right direction. I changed my path to something I could have been. So, Monk with Thayde, he got, he got deported when I was like 13. And for me, that was a role model that I had in my life. You know, at a young age, he just, he always took care of me. You know, it was like a second dad I had. He always guided me in the right direction, gave me the right advice. So, you know, he always told me I was going to be great. I didn't know what I was going to be great in, you know? But Tom was going to be great. So when he got deported, it just, it sparked something in me to just do boxing. I always had a passion for it, because he always talked about it. I used to watch boxers like Floyd and Chavez always on the TV watching me. You know, I knew I liked the sport, and I knew I wanted to do it. So that's what motivated me. When he was locked up, he'll call me, and that's why I was doing boxing. He was real proud of me. Told me he wants to, he has confidence in me and believes in me that I was gonna be somebody in life. And you know, without him, it's just like I would have never done this. You know, I mean, if I never knew the story that he talks, I never done this because he dropped out of high school to help feed the family at a young age. And he quit boxing just to help feed my mom and her younger brothers and all their siblings so they all could eat and go to school because he did everything for them. And that's something I want to do, just continue his legacy. Everybody told me I fight just like him. Everybody told me I had the same attitude just like him. Even old coaches that he had told me I remind them of him a lot just because of the way I fight. Imagine, if you will, you're in, in the water and you're learning how to swim. And somehow, uh, and sometimes, somehow you like get tired, or supposedly, or and. You either swim or you swim, uh, sink. A lot of times that uh, that what happens is that he's driven. He is driven. He is. He likes. Uh, he wants to succeed very badly. He, he really wants to succeed. He uh, he's very sharp. He's, he's smart. Uh, and uh, and he, he always wants to learn. He wants to get better. I'm honestly always kind of nervous before a fight. I'm not that confident for a fight, but I keep telling myself in my head, like, so you know, watching over you, you know, doing this for him, doing this for family, you know, that's what motivates me to keep going. Or, uh, just, you're like a freaking head behind you. Your hook is not that bad. Remember the last part of you did with, uh, with X? Yeah. The way you are uh, rocking in the beginning of the first round? Yeah, you got Huh? Yeah, you gotta do that. You gotta get your respect 
it's going to be a one at a time. Okay? Whatever you need to do, you win, you're going to have to win it. It's going to be hard. I already know it's going to be hard. Huh? It's going to be hard. Oh, everything is hard. It's going to be hard. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> everything is done by you. All the fights are hard. But guess what? You're here. Right? Might as well win, right? Yeah. Win to the quarterfinals. Water, you know, not super. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, slow down, man. Slow down, bro. Just, you find a place to go, just relax. better. I did get the first round and I should have kept playing that pressure the second round. I think I got too cocky and too confident. And so I let it get to my head. So you know I knew I lost the second round for sure. Third round I was doing some work but I should have kept moving some work. He got me with a good right hand. You know my respect to my opponent he did really good but uh, I should have kept putting that pressure not slowing down and, and I realized my mistakes. So I'll be ready for my next fight. Uh, this is just the beginning. This is just a loss. You know, I'm not tripping about it. You know, my face is kind of fucked up. But, you know, shout out to my opponent, bro. Uh, thank you for the challenge. I really appreciate it. You helped me realize a lot about myself. Um, hope you make it all the way. And I hope I get another rematch with you soon. And, yeah, thank you. And I will be doing Golden Gloves next year again. Gonna train harder. This summer ain't no games. I'm taking all the fights that I can. So I'm still gonna stick to the same goals. Take over the 141 division. That's still the same plan, regardless of this loss. Boxing, it, it's a commitment. Like you can't get, you can't have ass boxing. Like I learned a lot from sparring with people, getting my ass beat. Like you learn a lot, and it's something you can't have ass. I was doing good. You know, I got, I started doubting myself. You know, I got my ass whooped. Why? Cause I lost confidence. But deep down, if I would have kept my confidence high, I would have won the fight, you know. Everybody in the crowd was cheering me on. Everybody thought I would won the fight. I do too. But, you know, what can I do? You got to have a strong head for you to win every fight that you have. And every great boxer knows that. It doesn't matter about the training. It matters how confident you are you come in there. You got to be mentally ready. You can't just slack off, eat all this garbage. You got to train your body right. Keep yourself happy. That's what it is.